Welcome back, YouTube. It's another Monday. Can you believe it's another Monday? What's up with my hair, man? Oh, yeah, I'm bringing headbands back. Headband poppy back in the building. This video right here on a Monday is dedicated to friends and how important it is to have really great people in your life. Surround yourself with the most beautiful people in the world and call them your nearest and dearest friends. And to me, I have a group of friends and we call each other the six. This video is dedicated to them and anybody out there that has friends. I want you guys to enjoy this video. I enjoyed making this video. I enjoy living these moments with my friends. I'm just glad that I'm able to share this with you guys and share it with them. If you haven't done so just yet, make sure you smash that like button make sure you smash the subscribe button make sure you drop some love down in the comment section I want to hear everything about what's going on in your life and how much you love this video and if you hate it I don't want to hear that with that being said I gotta go do something with this hair so let's go all right so this is Booker's airport outfit I don't know what's going on with him and of course he brought his date with him DK What's up, DK? Hey. All right, so this is that moment when you're landing at the airport and you're just happy to get off the plane. And for me, it was a treat because I turned to my right and I saw a model. IBS. And I started to walk out the plane and I said, it couldn't get any better. But guess what? It did. There's another model, Jay Booker McVeigh. God. <laughs> and as a cameraman, sometimes you fail. Look it. <laughs> Can you give me, a, give me a little help, sir? The luggage? The luggage? The luggage? The luggage? All right, so let me tell you a quick little story. So we all had to pay for our luggages, and Booker didn't want to pay, so he's going to demonstrate on how I snuck in his luggage into the plane. Just like this. It really happened. Where you at? Are you still on the plane? No, nah, we're out. We're looking for DK. DK, he got lost so much during this trip. But let me tell you something about DK. He's such a special person. And we're just happy that we got a chance to get to know him. And I'm glad that he came on this trip. He, he brought so much to this trip. All right, well, enough with the airport footage. Let's skip all that. We came here for one thing and one thing only. And that is... Jesse Jameson Jr. pulling up. There he is in the wilderness. He's alive. Is that Steph Curry on your you head, bro? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's do this. Brown sugar. Now, I don't know, when I was editing this, I don't know if Booker was calling Daniel Brown Sugar or he was singing a song. I'm not sure. So Jesse has so many rules in his in his house, and this is him setting the rules right now. The rules, the rules are gonna change. Let me put rules. The rules are gonna change. The rules, look at he's really changing the rules. Don't spill. Don't spill. Don't spill. It looks like it says down spit. Down spit, man. Down spit, man. Down spit down here, man. Down spit, down split. What you doing, DK? Now something that's really unique about all of us and I guess a lot of people is that we come together when it comes to music. Ready for some heat? Go ahead, Booker. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I never knew what love was. I do this shit just because I'm the best that ever was. I'm doing it all was what you gotta say to a young boy going off. Yeah, yeah. Yo. I'ma kill it. Ooh. Body this verse. Hey. Bars, bars, bars. And cheers, cheers, cheers. Now, I want to tell you guys something special about Jesse. He's a very talented young man. And as long as I've known him, he's always been great at a lot of things. And something that he's really good at, and that is making music. Ready? Did you film me? Yeah. <laughs> bang, bang. Yo, so I haven't properly introduced this video. I got a great man. Now, uh, this is us walking to Ross, and the reason why this is kind of monumental or just funny to me is that 
I think all of us, maybe people even out there, have gone to Ross just to buy something inexpensive and get it for a good price. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. All right, guys. So I came out here to San Antonio. No basketball shoes. Everybody came with basketball shoes. I didn't. Which one should I pick, guys? These fit good. Ten and a half. Yeah, especially when you break it in. Though. These fit naturally. I got good. the same one. Okay, these the arch hurt. All right, so we're going with these. Put a yeah, applause yeah. in the background. Yeah. yeah. All right, this is us finally making it to the gym. Hope you guys enjoying the narration. I'm gonna show you guys some footage on how much we suck at basketball. Maybe, well, maybe me, not them, but maybe me. Huh? Yeah, we went to Walmart. He had to get leggings. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Alright, now we don't suck that bad. I'm editing another video. The link will be down below. This will show us, this will show you guys all the games put together. Andy, get in. Andy, get in. Look at you holding me for too long. It's okay, we're not golfers. We're not a golfing family. I just want to take this moment to acknowledge Tammy and Arvin. They're such beautiful people. I was just happy that we got to share some time with them. Bitcoin, baby! Introducing Crack Boy. All right, as I went back and I watched these clips right here, it's, it's, there's such a beautiful thing about watching grown men act like children. And Throughout this whole trip, I can't tell you how much my face hurt, my guts hurt because, pause, because of so much laughter, so much joy that we got to share. And I had to, and I had the opportunity to sit down with Booker, um, who was on this trip, obviously. And we were talking about our friendship, um, not just his friendship with mine, but all of us together. And we had two group members that were missing on this trip, but we talked about how we've grown so much and we've come such a long way and how we all make each other better and how we do make fun of each other and we poke fun but we never judge and no matter where we are in the world no matter what we're doing no matter what our lives are showing us we still come together and when we come together it's nothing but love and there's nothing more special than our friendship and I value it and I know that each and every single one of us feels exactly the same way. So this is a toast, a bang bang, to my best friends, the six. And any friends out there in the world, make sure you treat them well. Make sure you let them know how much they mean to you and that you value them. And don't take them for granted because every single moment counts. And these moments in San Antonio, I wouldn't take these moments back for anything in the world. Much love, guys. It might be two bricks, man.